Hello everyone and welcome to this 5 minute stock video on Hester Biosciences Limited. In this video we will be talking about what we like about this company and a few pointers that we don't like about this company. Be sure to watch the entire video and don't forget to check the description box below. Starting with what we like about this company. First is long track record and promoter pedigree. Rajiv Gandhi is a founder, CEO and MD of Hester Biosciences Limited. He has more than three decades of experience in the vaccine industry. Started in 1987 as a small proprietary trading business, HBL is now Asia's largest single location animal biological manufacturing facility, catering to four verticals, poultry vaccines, animal vaccines, poultry health products and animal health products. Second is diversified portfolio with a strong competitive edge. HBL is one of India's leading animal healthcare companies and the second largest poultry vaccine manufacturer. It makes 40 types of poultry vaccines in single and combo varieties, 3 types of large animal vaccines and more than 70 health products for poultry as well as large animals. Hester is also looking to expand its current capacity by 100% to meet the rising market demand. There is also a big opportunity for animal vaccines in export markets where the world requirement for FAO for them is around $500 million. HBL has acquired technologies for the production and commercialization of vaccines for classical swine fever and sheep pox, which will start selling from Q1 FR23. The company is also looking to get into pet health products which is a largely untouched market in India versus the pet markets in advanced economies. Third is a huge opportunity from Africa. HBL's Tanzania plant cost almost $18 million with a capacity of 1.5 billion doses per year. Estimated revenue from the plant is $30 million per year at full capacity. There is a big potential in the animal vaccine space in Africa as most of the current demand is imported at prices that are higher than any other continent in the world. Hester also has a competitive advantage here as the vaccines it is looking to make at this plant are not being supplied by anyone in the continent. Fourth point about what we like about this company being its foray into human vaccines. HBL is building a BSL-3 facility to make and supply a drug substance for the manufacturing of Covaxin to Bharat Biotech. This project is said to be completed by Q4 FY22 and it will be yielding 7 million doses per month. In Q3 FY22 con call, the management stated that this facility will be their ticket to enter into human vaccines in the future. Coming to the next part of the video about what we don't like about this company. Starting with its lower scale and high working capital requirements. HVL only made a turnover of about 214 CR in FY21. This lower scale of operation restricts the financial and operational flexibility of HVL against pharma MNCs and similar businesses. An operating cycle of 171 days makes it working capital intensive. Higher inventory days is largely due to the manufacturing process of the product, which requires average 2 to 3 months of work in progress for various stages of product development. Second is its tough competition in new segments. Although Hesta has big market share in a few vaccine supply tenders in India and in the domestic poultry space, it faces tough competition in these segments in export markets from global giants like MERCK and in form of domestic competitors like Cadilla in the emerging segments of animal healthcare products. Thus, in order to be able to compete with the reach and scale of these competitors, HBL will need to stay on the front foot with sustained growth momentum and constant innovations. Third are the business risks in Tanzania. Given the size of the company today, the Tanzania plant is expected to be a game changer for HBL. The plant has commenced operations from September 2021 and the size of the capex was relatively large compared to the present operation of the company. 
and the scale up of operations in this region is expected a difficult task given the nascent state of the market and local level difficulties in establishing a new business in Africa. Fourth are the risks pertaining to the poultry industry. The biggest revenue segment for Hester remains poultry vaccines. Thus, any negative effect on poultry industry can severely affect sales of HBL. Demand of SBS product is also directly proportional to the poultry farmer's ability to spend. Example, in Q2 FY20, as the cost of animal feed rose, farmers were forced to cut expenditure on healthcare products and hence sales of HBL were impacted. Fifth, being the highly regulated vaccine industry. The vaccine industry is a highly regulated market in terms of intellectual property rights and other regulatory requirements. Failure to adhere to the regulatory standards or to implement changes in those standards could affect HBL's ability to register, manufacture, or promote their products. With this, we come to the end of the video. Thank you for watching and make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you like this video.